Hello, my name is Mark Logue, and this video serves to document or catalog a bit a trip my brother Tom and I took from Temecula, California to Salt Lake City, Utah to pick up our brand new 2022 Hive EX off-road camper trailers. Now, I'll admit this is a bit of a hodgepodge of video and footage that I was able to put together, but it does tell a bit of a story of our journey. The first leg of our trip was riddled with rain. As we moved through California and state line, as you can see here, it was pretty good downpour and there were parts of the drive that were a little unsettling, uh, even for someone who's fairly comfortable behind the wheel during rain. But as we got into Las Vegas, the rain suddenly stopped. And so did we, for some food. Tacos El Gordo. Tacos El Gordo is a fantastic Mexican food restaurant straight from Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Their adobada is some of the best I've ever had, and that quesadilla that you just saw was absolutely exquisite. My brother and I had to take a couple rounds of adobada tacos. If you find yourself in Las Vegas, Nevada, or in San Diego, California, Tacos El Gordo is a must. Now the first leg of our trip was getting from Temecula to St. George. We stayed over in St. George and then the following morning made our way over from St. George all the way up to Salt Lake City, Utah. And what you're seeing now is the following morning. And so this will just catalog some of the geography we saw along the way. So enjoy and I'll check back in in just a moment. Forgive me here as we descend into Salt Lake City. I didn't really capture much footage of the pickup process as it was a bit of a rush for us. But as you can see in this video, we now have our 2022 Hive EX campers and we're headed to camp. And here is our first camp spot. And boy, was it fantastic. Enjoy the views. Back on the road from Spanish Fork, Utah, down to Tokerville, Utah, where we plan to, to stay for a night just outside of Zion and then make our way into Zion National Park. Enjoy the views on the way. afternoon on day three of our excursion to pick up these campers. Now this is our second night of camping and we are somewhere here outside of Tokerville, Utah, kind of in between Tokerville and Zion National Park. And after having driven with these hive campers behind the rig for several hours at this point and had, having one night under our belt of sleep, I must say I am quite thrilled and impressed and frankly just pumped and stoked at this point on the new addition to our rigs. 
Now, we only camped at this particular campsite in this area for one evening as we were trying to make our way to Zion and then of course back home to Temecula to take these things home. So it was quickly off again the next morning, back down the trail to head towards Zion National Park. And you can see this area that we camped in was quite beautiful. The geography beginning to turn into that breathtaking Zion National Park geography. Mountain ranges all around us and the red rock and tabletop mountains blending together. It really was a beautiful area and we were beginning to get excited about Zion National Park and what that might look like, as well as how awesome our rigs were doing. After a quick bathroom break, we began to make our way to Zion National Park. What a beautiful entrance into the park it was. Park. Of course, it's time for a crisp cold beer from our new refrigerator. After slowing the pace a little and enjoying the beautiful scenery from the campground, we decided it was time to get out and enjoy the park a bit. inside the park, we found ourselves very fortunate to find a parking space right across the street from the trailhead of the trail we had hoped to hike that afternoon in Zion National Park. Now this trail is called the Observation Point Trail, and this might be the most rewarding 20 minute hike I have ever been on. Beautiful terrains and geography and landscape changes and a very well-maintained trail with great infrastructure. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this trail was only about a 20 minute hike, approximately a half mile or so. And the views along the trail were absolutely gorgeous. But to say that we were surprised at what we saw when we got to the end of this trail after only 20 minutes would be a dramatic understatement. lenses 
reason this footage doesn't even begin to do justice to just how breathtaking these views actually were in person. Absolutely amazing. spending a good amount of time enjoying that spectacular view and the beautiful weather, we headed back down the trail and headed back to camp. After making our way back down to camp, we enjoyed a nice hearty meal and some good company around the campfire, woke up early the next morning, broke camp, and headed home. I hope you've enjoyed just a glimpse into our trip, and next time we'll be sure to capture more for you to enjoy. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.